tail of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. Now for the introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, And now we produce his opponent fighting out of the red corner. The future Ian Machado Gary. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, so with that touch of the gloves, we are underway with this stand-up only fight. A couple of rules in play here, we remind you. No grappling of any type. Also, fighters cannot do any follow-up strikes on the floor. Let's see how it plays out. All right, first round is underway here. We say in mixed martial arts, it's one thing to have the reach advantage. It's another thing to use it. We'll see if he can get that jab going. He has got to fight tall. He's got to stay at range, use his length to give his opponent problems. Try to bring the fight into a closer distance. And just misses with that big right hand. Push kick there to the body. Best punch in the game. Beautiful jab. Oh, high level defense there. The hook shot is blocked by Machado Gary. Oh, nice kick. Oh, nice. Nice. Going back to his patented kicks here, but unable to find the target there. Oh, roundhouse kick lands. Attempts the front kick there. Page gets absolutely punished by that head kick. Really finding the kicking range now. Another one lands there. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Machado Gary. Oh, big stick up top. That's another one. Machado Gary's shot is blocked. Circling towards the left. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Leg kick lands, my favorite strike. Oh man, another nice leg kick is there. He does a great job of getting that leg kick to the target. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. Well, how good is that jab by Machado Garrett? Oh, a huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Work, guys, come on. And that spinning kick down its home up top. <laughs> Throws the team. Back and forth we go. Clipped him with the right hand there. Oh, he lands another shot to the head. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. Straight right hand now just misses. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. He landed a nasty flying knee to the head. Jab there by Page. 
just misses with the jab there. Big punch lands through the middle. Lands the low kick. Calf kick lands, and it is starting to bruise now. Dude better check these kicks. He's not going to be able to fight too long if he doesn't. And that one certainly found the target. Nice job by him defensively there. Now lands a kick to the body. Round two is next. Ready. Ready. All right, second round underway. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Good kick. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Nice block. Oh, you land, I land. Is that what we're doing here? Machado Gary's cheek looks like it's cut here. Starting to bleed a little bit now. Jeez, you can hear that. <laughs> Trying to land the elbow there to no avail. Goes to the body there. Machado Gary's thigh started to show serious signs of bruising now. Shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Oh, big left. Oh! Creating huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. Oh, big left hook there. Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. You know, sometimes when you play basketball, you're in the zone. Mm -hmm. This dude's in the zone. This guy's throwing his basketball in the midst of the ocean. He can't miss with anything that he throws. Every kick lands. Every punch lands. He has just outclassed this guy on the feet. You have got to find a way to change the way that this fight is playing out, or your night's going to end very early. Well, as soon as he goes with that high guard, he pays for it to the body. You see the bruises really starting to accumulate now. In the beginning of the fight, you think, I got to protect my head at all costs. Right now, I believe that this guy has to worry about his body. Look at how red the side of his body is. He's got to change something. Try to establish that jab. Able to check that kick as well. Oh, there's the swing and there's the miss by Page. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing strike. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've got to do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing out. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems to bother by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. 
Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of this thing. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Just misses with the straight left hand. Machado Gary's eye is closing up now. Not good for him. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Page gets caught by that straight punch. You got to do better than that defensively. He missed with that jab attempt there. So we'll see what sort of defensive response ensues here. He's taken a lot of shots upstairs, and the swelling is there to prove it. Got to keep those hands up. He might want to employ a high guard to try to ensure that. Oh, he's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Uh, Ten minutes in the can. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. Well, his nose is just mangled. The cut appears to be the big issue. Let's get you some replays from that previous round. I mean, he's getting hammered. He's going back to the well over and over again. And why would he not? His opponent wasn't good on the defense. His opponent allowed for him to land too clean. And now, he's just targeting that cut on the nose. You ready to fight? Ready. Crowd fired up, so are we third and final round. All right, so back-to-back -back entertaining rounds. We'll see how it goes in this round. We'll see which corner sort of maximized those 60 seconds on the strip. This is what happens when you get two very skilled, very evenly matched fighters coming together. Nobody has really taking a lead in this fight. Let's see who does it going to the next So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. It got checked. Beautiful shot lands to the leg there. Sidekick, well placed. Both fighters starting to open up a little bit. So the fighter limping now as a result of all those leg kicks. We'll see if he can make some adjustments. He's got to make some adjustments. And checking the kick right now is not going to work. It's too late. This guy should have addressed this earlier. But now he's going to have to tough it out and get through this. He checked that last one. Machado Gary getting tattooed by that stiff jab. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. Nice. Oh, oh man, DC, he would appear to be in real trouble. All right, it's late in the fight now. I don't need to be a judge to tell you that he is clearly losing. What is a fighter's mentality when you know you need a finish or you're getting an L? This is when you got to go to the Nate Diaz mentality. Kill or be killed. You got to throw everything at your opponent because if this thing goes to the judges, you are not going to win this fight. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Big power shot there. 
I don't know how many times he can get hit in the head and stay in this fight. Machado Gary gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Oh, how technical is that? Nice straight punch. There's the leg kick. That one checked by Machado Gary. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that Man, the bruising on that calf is out of control. I need to do some calf raises next week, build up some muscle. My I God. mean, you're taking it by osmosis. You're not even getting kicked. You're like, man, this hurts so bad to even watch. Tremendous game plan by this guy. Oh, roundhouse kick. Add that to his highlight reel. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Leg kick checked effectively there by Machado Gary. Oh, huge overhand there. Both guys appeared to land there. Can't take many of those, you gotta check. Final 10 seconds of the fight. So the fight goes the distance. We'll take a look back at the action, but should go his way given all he got done in the striking game. Yeah, he did a great job of landing at will, mixing up the target, doing everything that he's become known for in order to cruise to a very good decision. I know he didn't get the finish that he wanted so bad coming in here tonight, but he had a phenomenal performance, and he showed that he's one of the best fighters in the world. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score the contest. 29-28. Declared the winner by unanimous decision, Michael! All right, nice job by him there as he is your winner via unanimous decision. And sometimes I would think it's easier said than done to just leave the judges out of it. Dominant performance and he gets his hand raised. Yeah, and if you got to go...